sister, look at me. Hey everybody, welcome to today's episode of Two Guys on Beer, coming to you from National Mechanics in Old City, Philadelphia. Sorry for a few giggles, we had a little bit of uh, hijinks here before we started the show. Uh, hijinks on Two Guys uh, on yeah, Beer. Yeah, hijinks on Two Guys on Beer. So yes, we're coming to National Mechanics, I'm Johnny Bellotta, this is Dave Marana. And uh, today we're doing uh, from the Port Brewing Company in, I got to read it again, San Marcos, California, um, which is near es Escondido, which is, I don't know, a few miles north of San, San Diego, okay. like quite a few. Uh, but they got their Sanders Little Helper in it, Russian Imperial Stout. Yes. And Dave has, like, it looks like he's been looking at his chops for this one a little bit. Were you well, looking at your okay. chops for this one a little bit? First, we should make note that we're back in front of the fireplace. Ah, uh, yes, warm for the winter. Yeah, um, okay, that's it. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, um, this is a 9.5% uh, ABV Russian Imperial Stout, and oof, weak. <sighs> you know, already foul already. Yeah, I mean, like, sorry, you know, man. You bring some people to a beer show and you just can't film. It's just ridiculous. A little, it's uh, uh, you know, crowded people here at the bar. I'm a little nervous today. So anyway, yes, tell them, tell them what uh, Russian Imperial Stout. Come on. Okay. Um, the, one of the neat things about this is the fact that all of the Christmas beers that we've been talking about so far, all of the ones that are labeled Noel are all um, Belgian strong dark ales. Right, yeah. And now we have a Russian Imperial Stout, which is a complete departure from all the other Christmas beers we've tried, so I'm excited to get into this. Now, um, the, the Pizza Port Company back in 1992, uh, it was owned by um, two people who decided that they would, uh, I believe they're brother and sister, anyway, decided they would start home brewing, they started home brewing, they, you know, they started making more beer, more beer, it's good, let's start brewing here, let's start brewing you know, there, they start not. serving it in their restaurant, um, um, they, they get a good following of craft beer. Eventually, they run out of room. In 2005, they find out that the Stone Brewing Company out in California is actually um, doing away with one of their smaller facilities because they're moving into a larger facility. And in 2006, the Port Brewing Company, well, the, the owners of Pizza Port Company and somebody else, they actually bought up stones of old facilities, opened up the Port Brewing Company, and the rest is history. So not the oldest. That's an interesting issue, actually. Yeah. It's not, uh, not the same as you hear about others, but I mean. No. So uh, let's get let's get a little. Real sweet scent. Um, it's I mean, 9.5%. Right? Uh, a funny. lot of molasses on the nose on this. Um, you smell the alcohol. Oh, no yeah. No doubt. Um, and it's it's chocolatey. It's got that little bit of like it's it's not, not a very staying head. Um, not a ton of lacing, but it looks a little sticky on the side of the glass. Shall we? Uh, yeah, let's give it a whirl. Mm. I like this. It's smoky chocolatey, um, but like real heavy on the bitter chocolate, right? Like that's like the, that's for me like the bitter chocolate is the key component to this particular. Beer. Uh, I, I, I'll agree with there. I think the bitterness is coming from, it, to me, it tastes like a real, real bitter espresso. You know, like. Yes. Um, it has that, like, that bitey, heavy Italian coffee sort of feel uh, about it. It does. But it hides the alcohol uh, pretty well. It doesn't uh, hit you, but you start to let it settle in your mouth a little bit and you can taste the heat. Yeah, and, you know, to be honest with you, like, the, uh, that coffee flavor, I almost wish it was a little bit more of, like, uh, of the, the coffee side of it, not the, the sweeter side of coffee, yeah. not, the, not the more bitter side of it. But again, this is a big heavy beer and there's nothing to complain about in this flavor really. Aside no, from not that at thing all. that I just complained about. And unlike a lot of other Christmas beers, it's very dry. So you get to the end of this and it has a very almost dry stout sort of characteristic, which I really like a lot from the Russian Imperial Stout. I think it's good. I'm, I'm marking it up high, I'm giving it 92, I love it. Yeah, and I mean, for me, I think one of the things that is that we talked about if you're going to label yourself a Christmas beer, you should be a Christmas beer for yep. crying out loud. And this is, this is, this is to me, filling enough to, and, and the flavor is good enough for me to be happy with this being called a Christmas beer. Yeah, I think it has enough of flavor in there. I mean, we didn't really describe it as well as, uh, as, as we have in, as the we had in the past, but it, it certainly has its place in this. I, I, I really like it. I think you're right. Yeah, so I'm going 93 on this. I'm, I really nice. like this stout. I would drink this all day and all night, but slowly because it's a big one. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty big. So uh, we'd like to uh, thank you for joining us once again. I'd like to thank National Mechanics uh, for hosting us and if you're in Philadelphia uh, you should check out uh, Philly Beer Scene magazine uh, for all that yep. is going on uh, for Philadelphia beer for two guys on beer. Hold on. Um, also quick plug out 
to, to Chris over at Hawthorne's? Yes, oh yes, Hawthorne's, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, it was uh, Chris over at Hawthorne's uh, uh, nice enough to uh, provide these beers for us. Yep, Hawthorne's recommended this one, so. Eleventh and Fitzgerald in South Philadelphia, so check them out. Alright. Alright, so for two guys on beer, I'm Johnny Bellano. I'm Dave Monterana. Go, Go enjoy, enjoy some, some beer. beer. Better enjoy this show, too, because that was tough when we get through. I'm a popper, look at me.